Hey everybody, this is Mark Bozon from the IGN Nintendo team, and I'm here to give you guys the video review for Rune Factory Frontier for Nintendo Wii. As an evolution of the classic Harvest Moon formula, Rune Factory is taking over the farm life sim these days, kicking things off with two DS titles over the last two years, and now debuting on consoles for the first time with Rune Factory Frontier. Like the DS games before it, Frontier is basically a go anywhere, do anything, kind of take life at your own pace sort of game. It really blends the elements from both farming and life sim, like things like Animal Crossing, and then adds in some uh, dungeon crawling to boot, which is what Rune Factory is really specifically known for. At its core, this game is classic Rune Factory. You're going to wander around a beautiful town. Uh, you can see the seasons changing here from bright summers to raining fall and uh, these still winters that are kind of tranquil and almost a little eerie, and then back again as the seasons change. And basically, it's your job to bring life to the city one turn at a time. Since the entire game is open-ended, you're basically free to play how you want, uh, though progressing the story is actually going to come from meeting up with new town members that arrive, and it uh, sort of stems from there. Here you can see a little video of a character intro that comes in with some short animated footage, and uh, they're nice, but they are extremely short. Welcome to Materia! From there, it's standard Harvest Moon Fair. You have different holidays, such as the uh, Pumpkin Festival, which you can see here where, for some reason, people are wearing gourds on their head. Or, of course, you can participate in boat races on specific days, where uh, you can take a girl along if they're interested in you, and show a little bit of your paddling skills. Why am I alone in the boat, you may ask? Well, a little bit too many level 7 wolves, and not enough time with the ladies. Case in point, that's what Rune Factory is all about. It's open-ended. And while the game is both visually stunning and very well done audio-wise, uh, there's still some setbacks it has as well. Key items, such as this axe that I'm using to chop wood, can also be a pain to get, uh, as the game gets a little bit too open-ended. Could I buy it? Nope. Can I trade for it? No. How do I get it then, you might ask? Well, simply talk to the nun, and she'll hand it on over. There are a few instances like that which act as tiny roadblocks in the game, uh, but once you get the hang of things, it'll start to flow a little bit, even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The only other real downside here is that the game's entirely by the books in design. Motion control can be used, but there's never any real prompt for it, and it's all waggle and place a button. The camera's fixed as well, so you'll be running down the screen a lot, and it can make navigation a little bit of a pain. And as a final note, there's also no IR usage for interface or item management. With that being said, the good far, far outweighs the bad in this one, as there's just an immense amount of things to do. Rune Factory may be a mashup of life sim, action, adventure, and RPG, but it's currently one of the best on Wii in many of those categories. For more on the game, check out my written review at IGN.com.